Howdy, 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 my name is Anasha Sasuke, and welcome to House Pets. Now, remember how I said that in case something happens, it should be coming out on Monday, and it's Tuesday now, and it's just now happening? Well, the thing that happened that made it not happen on Monday, and happen no longer sounds like a word, is I got, I got caught at somebody else's house without my computer because of snow. So I'm doing it now. Um... And like I said, I'm going to be aiming to read like 20 minutes worth of strips to see how that goes. But it'll probably be, the video will be a little bit, a little bit longer than 20 minutes since I'm blabbing at the beginning and it's not actually a video. So, grape! The Wii Remote is out of batteries. Mom and Dad are out of the house and I'm bored! Uh, I have a great game it's, you can play. It's called Let the Cat Finish a Nap for Once. Please, grape! Alright, uh, stop looking so pitiful. Set course for high adventure. I'll get out the paper bags with silly hats drawn on them. Uh, I'm the uh, the uh, weather wizard, ruler of this land. <laughs> Hail to the reigning king! Puns. Okay, so... Yeah, if the first comic is puns, then this is gonna be interesting. Let's try this again. I'm the weather wizard, ruler of this land. Sire, the peasants are revolting. See, the way you cure the plague is by rubbing a dead pig all over your body. No, you have to wash your hands and s water soaked with dead pig. What shall we do, sire? Let there be rain! That's probably not going to end well. It looks like they're going to splash water at the ceiling fan, but it does I don't think that's going to end well. I guess we won't see how that ended. Weather wizard! You've turned our fields into mud pits! Now we're actually revolting! Oh please, you were all going to die of the plague anyway, best to just start over! I don't think you understand, in order to oust you, we've hired ninjas! Ah, you've underestimated me, for I ha also have ninjas! Ha! Hoo! What ha! Huh, they both impaled themselves on their own swords! That's what you get for shopping at Discount Ninja Barn. Wanna get lunch? <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that you should give the newly emerging demographic of plague zombies a chance. Oh, hold on a second. Delegations? This is getting dull. You're right, we need to spice this up. Delegations with... Pirates? You know, we can't keep spicing it up with stock references. You're right, we need something new and original. Something unique and entirely our own. We're the mashed potato men from Mars, and we're here to conquer! Maybe too original. Mashed potato men from Mars. <laughs> the, <laughs> the overweight cannibal people of Lapidia make their move in Rascrafted of Pure Lord! The ocean people of Mermedia have solved the problem of moving on dry land, and they're here to conquer these uncivilized lands. But wait! The one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater sure looks good to me! A robot reincarnation of Tokugawa, Aisu flies in on a ship made of fire wielding his dark scepter of unlife and shadow. The earth cracks open and lava spills forth. Orguna the Forsaken has been reborn and he seeks vengeance on all the peoples of the world. A thousand years of darkness, fire raining from the sky, floods, hurricanes! Explosion. Okay, this battle will determine the fate of the universe. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go, Slam. Hey, we're back. Oh, Peanut, I got you batteries for your Nintendo like you asked. Here you go. Huh. Well, I guess I'll get back to Mario Kart. Yep. <laughs> Who dumped water all over the living room? Nah. It always comes to an end. Oh, there's titles. My bad. I didn't scroll down far enough. So who's this guy? A mournful situation. Oh, woe is me, woe is me, whoa, 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 whoa. It is so terrible, the fate which has befallen me. How horrible, how dreadful, how ghastly. Oh, woe is me. Oh, hey, Bi Bino, did you did you want something? Bino, 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 Bino. Oh, Bino, it is terrible, for I have lost the game. Oh, my God. 
The game? What game? Aha! Now that you know of the game, you can never unknow it! For to know of the game is to play the game, and to think of the game is to lose the game! There is never any recourse, never any escape, it will haunt you forever! FOREVER, DO YOU HEAR ME?! HAHAHAHAHA! <laughs> Ugh. I kind of feel like this is why I was asked to read this now. Like, I remember when- I don't- I don't remember when the game started, like, when people started talking about it. All I know is there was a point when I was in junior high where people kept saying I lost the game, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not playing any games, so I'm just gonna go over here and continue having not lost this game that I don't know what you're talking about. And nobody ever really explained it to me. There's like, you lost the game, you can't win the game, you lose the game because you know about it. And I'm like, I don't, I, don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. Just ironic that this would come up after I saw like a Tumblr dissertation of what the game was. Anyway. Grape! Grape, wake up! What the? Am I wearing a sign that says please disturb or something? I would not be surprised, actually. It's important! Bino made me start playing the game! What game? You mean- Oh, for the love of- The game is a dumb little social experiment that went horribly awry. You don't have to play it if you don't want to. It just causes excessive grief if you're afraid of some arbitrary title of loss. Why do you think you have to play? The game told me to. I would be more sympathetic, but you interrupted my nap. So what are you worried about? There's nothing keeping you from not playing the game if you want. Yes, there is! I have to! No, that's all metagame! If you let the metagame enforce the rules, then the rule set isn't closed, and you can change it however you want. You know, like D&D! Let's say I make the new game, and the purpose of the new game is so that you can win the game. If you accept all metal game rules as enforceable, you can accept the new game, right? No? Well, why not? Because that's not how the game is played, so if, So help me if- so help me if this is any indication of how my day is going to go. No escape. Alright, stupids, I want to know why you got Pina into playing the game. Oh man! What? Man, that's not cool, just making us all lose like that. Wait, what? You mean you were all actually playing? Well, duh, what did you think? What, did you think we'd just cheat? If you don't play, that's the same as cheating. Ch cheating In what context? I'm not playing the game, so what? You're not? Who said they're not playing the game? Good going, good going, Grape. You knew they were all crazy, yet you tried reason anyway. So it looks like they're all dogs except for Grape. Burn the heathen! Blasphemer! Somebody get a chainsaw! I wonder if I could live off of squirrels for the rest of my life. Like, threaten them to shell nuts for me? Renounce your ways, cheater! Never! Give him the chainsaw! I regret nothing! You guys do know I could have jumped to the garage roof at any time. Also, you're not supposed to stand under the tree after you're done cutting. We've- we've- we figured that out, thank you. Okay, fine. Some escape. Let's see. SLAM! <laughs> so did it go okay? Ah, oh, great. Don't be sad. I'm okay with playing the game. It's not you, it's them! They don't understand that forcing yourself to be a conduit of the game is like voluntarily giving up free will. It's like the opposite of Zen, making your life unnecessarily more complicated. Fools! In time, this will destroy them. <laughs> Three weeks later. Hey, Bina, what were we not supposed to do in that game? The what? Let's see, Mousetrap. Channeling you at age eight. <laughs> Isn't there anything to do around here? Let's see if we can figure it out. Let's see. The board game Mousetrap, stuffed animals, a hockey stick, army dudes. Looks like that says the Wizard Lord. Full Metal Alchemist, Settlers of Catan, some sort of hand thing, probably a part of Mousetrap, a bookshelf, remote control car, cards, paddle ball, roller skates, a DS, Mario Kart, Super Mario Galaxy, a Wii, a Wii Remote, the steering wheel, baseball bat, baseball, and a television with the Wii hooked into it, and a whole bunch of games. And some stuff in that next room. But there's nothing to do. <clears throat> I think when I was eight years old, a lot of those things didn't exist. I'm old. Um, man, would you look at them and look at them indoor pets? 
Yeah, I know. Do they even... They don't even know what it's like to live like a real animal. Just laying around doing nothing all day. Ha! Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Where's the rest of his body? Is this just his arm over the fence? <laughs> oh, they're just shaking. Never have free time and chocolate covered espresso beans in the same room. Oh. So did they did they make a cappuccino with the chocolate covered espresso beans or did they just eat the chocolate covered espresso beans? What is it called? A real buzz. A real buzz light ear. Peanut, is this your drawing you left on the coffee table? Ah you're not supposed to look at that! I don't get all worked up about it. It's rather nice really, except that the dog's tail's a little long. That's because it's a cat's tail. You are sick! What did I do? Let's see. Misunderstood artist. Let's see. Come on, Grape. You can't read it that much into a picture, can you? It's rather clear what you were thinking when you drew that cat tail. I think you're overreacting. Believe me, those aren't the kinds of ideas you should be sharing with other pets. No way! I'll prove to you there's nothing wrong with it. Sorry, Peanut, we're going to have to revoke your good old dogs club membership. Dang. Ostracize doesn't mean to turn into an ostrich. Sorry, Peanut, it's in our bylaws. No cat lovers. Also, it's really weird. I'm not a cat lover, I just happen to like certain features of theirs. Re Rex, what do you think? Sounds like a cat lover to me. Fox, total feline felinophile. I'm going to pretend I know what that means. So you'll t you'll need to turn in your card? If we had cards. But it's just a tail! You wouldn't have complained if it was a whole cat! Actually, just don't show up at the clubhouse anymore. I'm pretty sure that would only aggravate the point. Especially since we know you're a cat lover. I'm regretting this less and less. CAT LOVER! A cat isn't fine either. Does they have a black eye? Peanut, can I, can I have a look at your picture? Joey, you're a cat lover? Well, I... I guess, but all this controversy is making me feel kind of weird about it. Oh, she looks beautiful, Peanut. This is great. <laughs> really? It's nice to actually have a compliment. I want to wear her skin. Pushing the PG rating in your mind. <laughs> that... <clears throat> Wow. Okay. What was that? What was that? Do you even listen to the words coming out of your mouth? Oh, please, Peanut. Don't be like Beano and the others. It's just a fantasy. And extremely disturbing. Well, what prompted you to say that out loud? Well, come on. You're a cat lover, too. Haven't you ever, you know, wanted to be a cat? Oh, you, you meant, like, role-playing. Right. Sorry. I thought you meant something else entirely. Yeah, role-playing. Speaking of which, I have something to show you. Great. You know that neighbor cat that shows up from time to time with a spot over his left eye? Well, this is going to surprise you. Hey, dude. This Does this dog have a fursuit of a cat? And then he talked about a mouse named Squeak, and he said they were in love and going to move in together. We're pets! We can't even do that! Peanut, Peanut, it's alright. Okay, so, Joey is strange. That's kind of the that's the kind of reputation that pets that look outside their own species get. It's just a tail or some whiskers now, but next thing you know, you wake up in a puddle of your own vomit from a niece overdose screaming, "I am one of the ferals!" at the top of your lungs. But I might have overreacted. It's not that your picture was bad. Well, I figured that. I mean, Joey seemed to like it a lot. Well, I don't think it's right to leave any bad blood between us. I'll give it a second chance. Where is it anyway? The garbage disposal? Anise is like catnip, but for dogs. Huh, I didn't know there was dog catnip. That was a little drastic, but everyone hates me for it now, and now it makes me feel strange. Well, if you say you're not a cat lover, I'll believe you. So I don't hate you for it, and if everyone else takes it the wrong way, I guess that's their problem. But, like, how all of you made fun of the new dog named Tiger? And time. <clears throat> It's time they'll come to accept it, crippling emotional problems aside. 
After all, when I hang out with the guys, I don't have to hide my femininity. <laughs> You're a girl? <laughs> Curveball out of nowhere. Does that mean I have to go for a higher pitch? <laughs> How could you not know I'm female? We are naked all the time! Regardless, it's impolite to ask, and you don't even act with female. You play video games with me, we talk candidly about all kinds of stuff. We were doing Shakespeare, you just made me made me play Juliet. It doesn't mean I have to be male, I thought we were dropping our preconceived ideas. Sorry, but you have to admit you're something of a tomboy. Tom cat. That would mean you're a boy. I know what I said! I planned this joke for an awful long time. What, the tomcat thing? Look, it doesn't even matter that I'm female, I'm still grape! And to pull a neat little parallel, it doesn't matter if you like cats, but not in that way, you're still Peanut! What matters is that you don't care what the guys think about it, because you know, you and I both know you're not really a cat lover. Now come on, stop frying your brain over it and let's make ourselves some root beer floats. Put all this crazy cat lover nonsense behind us. Oh no! I swear, it's platonic! What's what was happening here? Forget about the pantry, that's all junk. There's food in there! There is! Well, I've never seen any. I heard you needed a thing called a tan opener? Can operator? Something like that? Those crazy rumors again, that's too much trouble. Waiting for trash day is too much trouble too, I take it. Hey, I'm hungry! While you're out, see if there's any cat food. Watch out! Quick, let's get out of- Click. Here. Raccoons! Don't shoot. Raccoons! Cat! Don't make any sudden moves! We're, we're just here for your trash! Alright? My buddy here is going to take the bag out of the bin, and we're going to back slowly out the pet door. Slowly. So, so don't make this any harder than- <laughs> Broom to your face! Ah! Stick him up. Ah, stick. Broomstick. Mom? Dad? G great. What was all that racket? I caught some raccoons messing with our garbage. Oh no, they got inside. Don't worry. I got rid of them and cleaned up, but I'm pretty sure they'll be back. Oh, thank you, great. But why do you think that? First of all, the pet doors you installed are plastic flaps. Don't they have any, like, with locks? We have thumbs, you know. The salesman was either very good or very bad at his job. A minor flaw. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, tiger! How are things going? Still catching catnaps? Playing with yarn? You know it, just being cat-like, I guess. It's like you and Marvin are two, two birds of a feather there, or more like two cats of a hare? Huh? I never get tired of how you and the other dogs point out the f that my name is in fact that of a large cat and that I hang out with a cat. Ha ha ha! I will kill you! I will kill your whole family! No, tiger, back down! <laughs> Yep, he's over it. I don't think he's over it. <laughs> the Adventures of Spot Superdog One Day at the Bank. Bank. Stealing all this money is easy, but then I am Spot the Superdog. Unhand that money. No, I will stop you by shooting you with this gun. Unbeknownst to the, th the thief, Spot is bulletproof. See? The Domitian isn't very smart. I, I got that. I have decided to start a new comic. <laughs> oh, it's actually gonna... The Adventures of Spot. Spot is the bravest of all the dogs and more powerful than even the humans. Nothing is too hard for Spot. He can punt, fly, punch through walls, and breathe fire, and that's only beginning. Everyone loves Spot. They love him because he rescues children and stops bad guys in their tracks. All the ladies, ladies love Spot, too. Especially his girlfriend's tribal is... Secret, secret, secret. Or the screech, screech, screech. Whoops, my Freudian slipped. What if there's comments in this There are not comments. Sorry, my eye just decided to stop. Give me a second. Okie dokie, it's back. The old, the good old dogs club is called to order. I was under the assumption we divide everything by seven. I like the old meeting place better. There was a toilet access. Now hey, you made me thirsty. Did you catch the game last night? Some game, huh? Some game. I know it's been three weeks since we last had a gathering, but I'd like this, everyone to settle down. Then I realized that was extremely stupid, and I'm not sure how that started. I thought there was going to be a potluck. Who cares? The only thing anyone ever brings us is, is ice and biscuits. Stop talking about fetch. No, it was frisbee. 
Just one announcement, my brother Fido just graduated from the Police Dog Academy, and this afternoon he'll be back in town around 8 o'clock. Our first order of business, these meetings seem to be getting sh cut shorter and shorter. Was that their reaction to, to Fido coming back, or their reaction to the meeting just ending? The Loyal Order. Can you see anything? I think they're talking about zoning. Zoning? Yeah, you know, dog stuff. Whose tree is what, and when they peed on it, that sort of thing. <laughs> Max, are you okay? Marvin? I don't think they were talking about zoning. It's a dog thing. Ugh. Something interesting needs to happen around here and fast. Uh, okay. Thank you, universe, but that was a rhetorical statement. It's a pet-friendly neighborhood. That's a lot of dogs just running on two legs down the street. Are they running to go check out the police dog, or, or not? What chapter is this? Is this still chapter one? Imaginate the... Oh. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Um. I thought that it was going to... Well, it's... I... Um. Next page. Whoa, well, hey! What's going on out... Going here? It's like you're setting up a... A rambunctorium. You know, like, a place to be rambunctious? Fido's going to be back from the academy any minute now! Bino's brother? So what are you guys doing? Hiding all your ill-gotten bones? What? No! Can't you see everyone wagging their tail? Well, I know you guys talked about him in glowing terms, but was he really that special? Special? He's the top dog! All the dogs want to be him! Except the lady dogs, they have other intentions. Okay, that makes the I want your poppy sign less confusing. Puppy, Sasha! Puppies is spelled with a U? No, the second letter! <laughs> a breed apart. Okay, so, I think stopping at September is a good stopping point. Um, that, that about does it for this episode of Let's Read House Pets. In the next episode, maybe we're about to meet Fido. Maybe we're not. I have no idea. I've never read this comic before, but I'm having fun with it. So, if you liked it, a like and a subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you need to do either one of those things. There'll be links in the description to the comic as well as the Patreon of the creator so you can support the comic. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.